Hi students, welcome to our physics class now. So in the waves, wave optics chapter in intermediate second year physics. So another important topic in short answer question number 6. So finding intensity of transmitted light when a polaroid sheet is rotated between two crossed polaroids. Polaroids are polarizers or polaroid sheets. So we want to find the intensity of the light so which is transmitted through the polarizer so which is rotating between the two crossed polarites. Polarites are polarized sheets or polarizer. But what is a polarization first? So polarization is nothing but process of restricting the vibrations of electric vectors in the light only in one particular direction perpendicular to the direction of the wave but you can see here it is unpolarized light all these are electric vectors which are vibrating in all directions so when this unpolarized light passes through the polarizer it becomes polarized light so now here we have p1 p2 p3 are three polarizers when the light passes through them the light becomes polarized light in which so the electric vectors do not oscillate do not vibrate in all directions only in one direction perpendicular to the direction of the wave they vibrate after passing through polarizer so let p1 so this line is axis of rotation of polarizer p1 this line is axis of rotation polarizer p2 and this dotted line is axis of rotation of the p1 so it is a polarizer P3. This is the axis of rotation of polarizer P3 and these two are axis of, axis of rotation of P1 and P2. So let I0 is the intensity of the polarized light after passing through P1 and after passing through P2 I1 after passing through P3 is I. So now how can we derive the formula for it. So let the intensity of polarized light after passing through the polarizer is I0. This is students, unpolarized light after passing through P1 is I0. Then the intensity of polarized light. You want to write full form students. Here it is written PL, polarized light after passing through the polarizer P2 is uh, taken as I1 but I1 is given by the equation I1 is equals to I0 cos square theta where Theta is angle between P1 and P2. That is here you can see students P1 so and P2. It is the this is the axis of rotation of P1 and this is the axis of rotation of P2. So I1 is the intensity of light, so which is emerging out of the P2. Now then the intensity of polarized light emerging out of p3 is taken as i students emerging means coming out this is polarized light which is coming out of p3 so now these two dotted lines students it is the axis of rotation of p1 it is the axis of rotation of p2 and this is the axis of rotation of p3 between them angle so from Mahler's law it is given by the formula i is equals to i1 cos square theta 
but theta is 90 minus theta students but how can we find 90 minus theta here so consider it is the polarizer polarizer p1 and it is a p3 from malas law i is equals to i1 cos square theta so but theta is taken as 90 minus theta but how can it is a polarizer axis of rotation of polarizer p1 axis of rotation of polarizer p3 and it is axis of rotation of polarizer p2 but already we said between these two angle is theta and between p1 and p3 is 90 and then this will be this will be 90 minus theta so where theta is the angle between angle between p2 and p3 that is why 90 theta is equals to 90 minus theta is written students so this implies so this equation can be written as i is equals to i1 cos square 90 minus theta 90 minus theta cos square 90 minus theta students this is also written from malus law but what is malus law so in the coming videos you can see and you can learn so malus law this is written so now i is equals to but i1 this equation we want to write here students i1 I naught cos square theta cos square 90 minus theta but we know I naught cos square theta cos of 90 minus theta means sin theta then cos square 90 minus theta is equals to 90 minus theta is equals to sin square theta now i is equals to i naught into 4 by 4 sin square theta cos square theta students here you want to remember one thing so this equation here is multiplied with 4 and divided with 4 so we know that one standard formula sin 2 theta is equals to 2 sin theta cos theta students sin 2 theta is equals to sin 2 theta is equals to 2 sin theta cos theta then squaring sin square 2 theta is equals to 4 sin square theta cos square theta so this implies i is equals to i naught by 4 into 4 sin square theta cos square theta so 4 sin square theta cos square theta means we can write so i naught by 4 this is sin square 2 theta so this is the intensity of this is the intensity of the polarized light which is passing through through the polarizer rotating between the two crossed polarizers so from this figure students p1 and p3 are called crossed polarizers and p2 is the polarizer rotating between them so it is in so it is in y axis it is in x axis which is a, it is a rotating between them so you can see once again so you can see once again the question and answer students